I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Should have a new exhaust on it. See how it goes. Load it back up. About to head home. A little bit of an issue. No big deal, we gotta take care of. <laughs> Started for them every time. I went to get it to drive it out and uh, it wouldn't start so starter let the smoke out so we're about to take her home and see if we can figure out why the starter let the smoke out but uh exhaust looks good haven't heard it run yet though maybe you'll be there for the first start <laughs>
try one last time. Even though we tried with multiple jump packs at the muffler shop, we are gonna try one last time with my jumper pack at my house. Let's see if that helps. It does not help. So, we're gonna pull the battery cables off, we're gonna pull the starter out, and see if we can get it to fire over. Let's see what we got. No bueno. No bueno. did that we did that once already um, so let's see if we can kill this one and it probably makes sense to buy a new one I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm seriously not sure what's going on now. Because now we have a uh, crank no start. I didn't hear the fuel pump kick. Their diagnosis needed. I don't believe in coincidences, but I think I have a genuine coincidence on my hands. Here's what happened. I took it to the muffler shop, drove it up on the trailer, took it over there, drove it off the trailer, parked it in the spot, started fine, ran fine. They took it from that spot, started it, drove it into the shop, Worked on it, started fine, ran fine, started it multiple times to test for leaks in the exhaust that they put in. They finished, started it, they drive, drove it out of the shop, backed it down, backed it into a parking spot. Turned it off, took the key, and gave me a call. I went over to pick it up. It wouldn't start over. It went kurt, 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 and it tried. I kept trying. I got a jump pack. I tried more. We got a truck over. We tried more. We got another jump pack. We tried again. But each time it started just, it, the starter was just not having it. It was just drawing everything down. So we gave up. We pushed it onto the truck and we got it home, that's where, I mean, you guys saw some of that stuff. But basically, put a new starter in it, wouldn't start. I traced it back. It seems as though we have killed both the starter 
and the fuel pump. Now, the fuel pump seems to have been working when I started because there was fuel pressure at the beginning all the way up until I got it to kick over because it, it got one pot like and then stopped. So the fuel pump was working at least up until <laughs> um, at least up until it was almost home or uh, after they were done with it. Uh, but I'm thinking what happened is the multiple attempts on the start draw down the, the, the voltage too much and it killed the fuel pump. Um, test the fuses and the relays and everything all the way back. I got power all the way to the harness, but I got no fuel pressure coming out of it and the pump does not run. I don't hear it buzz or hum or anything. So that means I've got to pull the tank back out, pull the fuel pump out of it, change the pump. I didn't put a new one in it. I used what it was in there because I, it was working and well, Gotta remind ourselves <laughs> this is a 25 year old Jeep so that's it for tonight I'm gonna come back tomorrow or the following day next time you see me it's gonna be just a, like this for you but I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna put a new fuel pump in there and I might just buy one like a brand new one maybe a new starter and a new fuel pump and um, no I'm gonna take it out and test it first anyway I'll see you in a minute. It's the next day, and su surprisingly, it didn't miraculously fix itself. Okay. What's um, the neighbor's car? What's that? The neighbor down by the barn. Down by the barn? Lori's barn. Oh. Seen it. Anyway. So we got to change the fuel pump. I'm going to do one more test to make sure that it's not the fuel pump or that the fuel pump's bad. And then we got to change, we got to pull the tank out. So to do that, I'm going to move this trailer over there. What we're going to do, grab another fuel tank with another fuel pump. Got it all signed up there. We're going to turn the key and see if it works. Yeah, fuel skirting out. It started bubbling, or it, like making noises. It bubbled. It made it made noises. It made noises. Fuel? No. Yes. Yeah. Where is it supposed to come from? Up in there. Up in there. Yeah, where did it come from? Well, it came through there, so yes. Yeah, that's right. It's squirted. Did your fuel come out? Yep, but it went back down too. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, bad fuel pump. Well, that confirms it. Gotta drop the tank and uh, change it. Old fuel pump is out, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna run to the store and get a new one. They have one in town in stock, and rather than put this all back together with another old one, I'm gonna get a brand new unit in there with a lifetime warranty. This Jeep will not need another fuel pump, save for mechanical failure. So I'm gonna go do that. And, uh, back.
plugged in. It's not permanently mounted. It's not permanently mounted, but it is uh, in its right spot and it's connected. Let's turn the key, see if we got life. Fuel gauge moves. I heard a, I heard a pump. I heard the fuel pump run. So let's see if we got fuel. Oh yeah, we got fuel. All right, fire in the hole. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. Just a little. Oh yeah. All right. Let's put. Let's finish putting that fuel tank back in. Oh. Tanks mounted back in. We're ready to get that thing off the trailer.
that'll do it for this video. I'm uh, I'm okay with it. We got it running. It's back on its wheels. We drove it around a little bit. You can hear some things now that it's not open headers um, that that I think need some more work. So we've got a lot of work cut out for us. We have one week left. We'll get to it. Thanks for stopping out. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. We will see you guys as soon as we see you. The next steps on this project are try to get it going so that she can take it to senior formal. So, senior semi formal. So, right? All right. That's it. We'll see you. Bye.